On Inside Stuff with me, Martins Oloja, today, we will discuss beyond the student loan. This is new and it's uh, receiving attention because it's unexpected, it is needed at this time. And it is very good that the president has signed the bill into law. He didn't waste any time. And the National Association of uh, uh, Nigerian Students uh, have visited the president in respect of that. That is good, but we would like to go beyond that. That beyond the student loan, I think the university need, uh, needs much more. Specifically, the tertiary education in Nigeria needs much more. The first thing it needs is autonomy. It needs its independence. The law is there. It's just that it is not being operationalized. The university system, for instance, has lost its autonomy. Not too long ago, even the entire university system had this brush with the federal government through the Federal Ministry of Education and the Office of Accountant General of the Federation. They, record, they put them into what they call IPs, this uh, unified salary payment system. Now Nigerian uh, federal university teachers are civil servants. They are being paid as civil servants are being paid. When, it, when they were being enrolled, a lot of them lost a lot of things and some have not even recovered. This is a violation of the autonomy of the university system. You all say, no, they are federal officers. They don't allow them to manage their own bursary, to manage their own uh, accounting system, and what have you. They need their autonomy before some of these things can work. University education is not something that you just toy with. Generally, the tertiary education system, they need their autonomy. And they need restructuring, generally. The restructuring should involve uh, looking into the account, specifically the 2011-2013 uh, Steve Orosaye panel's report dealt with the university education system. And in the report that I have read and I have worked on before, they looked at how non-academic activities consume more than academic activities. They have non-academic staff consuming more than academic staff. They, 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 they had a database for these, and the report suggests that um, there should be an audit of the system to ensure that what is allocated to the university system is spent specifically on academic activities, that they should audit and restructure the non-academic activities in academic institutions. Beyond that, there is a matter that should also receive the attention of people on any restructuring team, the autonomy. This autonomy has gone haywire in the, in the sense that uh, the university system is now localized. You see, the other day, some of the federal uh, universities uh, oh, were violated by indigents wherever those universities were located. Some are now saying, our local, it is our turn to produce the vice chancellor. It's our turn to produce the registrar. It's our turn to produce the, uh, the bursar and uh, some other uh, senior staff of uh, the universities. This is not good for the system. I think there is a problem. We are uh, at the University of Lagos, for instance, a federal university. Somebody who is not from Southwest cannot apply to be the vice chancellor. This is bad, and it is unacceptable. University of Fife, I remember even you have heard about Njoku after uh, so many others, as the vice chancellor, University of Lagos. We've heard about uh, even uh, Amadou Bello University specifically. Now, <laughs> there are problems there. It's a federal university. That was an experience I had there in 2018. There was this uh, Ms. Um, Jessica Danladi, an indigenous of the Federal Capital Territory. Danladi, Ms. Danladi, that is Jessica, is a 
stateless applicant, stateless citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. She applied to read law at the Amadou Bello University in 2018. And uh, she, she obtained 259 over 400 in her UTME. And post UTME, she obtained 265. She applied to read law. From what we found out, she should have been admitted on merit, but she got no attention, nobody. I specifically wrote to ask, nobody replied. As long as you do not come from certain section of the North, you cannot get admission to read certain courses in the Federal University. It's not peculiar to only that university. That so all of the Federal Universities have been localized. They've destroyed the bureaucracy, the autonomy, and everything that universities should stand for. This is one of the things that should be looked into beyond the student loan. I think it is not good. I remember a case of uh, uh, one professor, Omu Mechili. He was, his name was mentioned before as vice chancellor of the University of um, Ife. What of University of Ibadan, a federal university? Professor Kenneth D.K., not a Yoruba person, was the first principal of the uh, University College Ibadan and later vice chancellor, first vice chancellor of the University of Ibadan when there was a country. So what went wrong to the extent that all these federal universities now have to produce vice chancellors, deputy vice chancellors, registrars, and all this from the locality? Maybe that is federalism. Then, as another phase, I think that the university system, and indeed the tertiary education system, requires more than just a Nigerian education loan fund that we are celebrating. It is good to celebrate that, but it should go beyond that. ASU uh, has been fighting, and no, no, nobody pays attention to them anymore, but some of the things they have been advocating, we know that this uh, student loan uh, system that is coming is good. It will be difficult to uh, define indigent students. <laughs> all students, most of the students, if not all, are indigent. In Nigeria, it's not difficult to define that. The federal government uh, can define that through the bureaucracy. We will advise ASU to, to discuss with the federal government on how this will work. For us, for instance, at The Guardian, we once wrote a very lengthy and very good editorial on how it should be done. University education is, is important for everybody but then it should be structured in such a way that it will be functional enough to provide, um, to provide employment for citizens. It should be functional. If we don't have enough fund for university education, why do we? In an article I wrote before, which I quoted not too long ago, I talked about whether we need more or better universities. I think we, we, we need better universities. And it, better universities are universities that are well funded with good laboratories, with good equipment, with good teachers, with people who have what it takes to hold university degree. I would like to end this um, take today with a quote from uh, Henry Peter Brown, 1826, that education makes a people easy to lead but difficult to drive, easy to govern, but impossible to enslave. Thank you until we meet again. Enjoy the rest of the week.